one of the best pieces of advice that I've ever heard. You will never be criticized by someone doing more than you. This is a quote by Mel Robbins. Keep this in mind the next time you receive any judgment. Okay, let's interpret these text messages from guys. Oh, no. I can't take it. Okay, the first one is WRU. Work, rest, and upshock. <laughs> what would that even mean? I have no idea. Um, no, it's just like, where are you? So if someone texts uh, you, where are you at like midnight? I'm sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> Send a pic. Send a pic? Well, maybe they're a farmer. I don't know what a that picture. is. A picture. Oh, a picture. I don't know. I... Like, what do they want a picture of? Probably not your face. No, not my face now. I was caught in the rain. Forget it. Look at my hair. We've talked about this one. You up. Yeah, I'm up. <laughs> and do you want to hang out? No, I don't want to hang out. Too late. Sorry, passed out. You're drunk. Well, I think it just means they fell asleep. Oh, well, it's either they fell asleep or from boredom. Or from or, being too drunk. Or from being too drunk. More likely from being too drunk. You're hot. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Interpreting texts that guys send with grandma. Okay, let's hear it, Kim. When the guy texts, sorry, I've been so MIA, work has been so busy. Drop him. He's not so busy. He's probably going out with another girl. If you're texting late night and they say, shit, sorry, I fell asleep. You must be very boring then if he fell asleep while he's talking to you. When he has a good friend who's a girl and says, don't worry, she's just a friend. Well, that could be. I, I, I don't disapprove of that. I mean, you know, it could be just a friend. When they text last minute and say, I had a work thing come up, I have to cancel. Well, sometimes there is a, a reason for canceling, uh, especially in this day and age when work is so frenetic and nobody knows where they are in the office. But uh, by and large, if he doesn't reschedule right away and say, let's meet quickly, I would say forget it. He's not interested. Three things I wish I knew in college. One, if you're in a dorm, leave the door open. Everyone's desperate to make friends and this makes it way easier. Two, don't skip class. I'm telling you, it makes a huge difference on how you perform. Three, get a job on campus so you have more spending money for fun activities. <laughs> Show me the life hack that you randomly saw one day that is now an unconscious standard practice in your life. I'll go first. Show me the life hack that you randomly saw one day that is now an unconscious standard practice. Show me the life hack that you randomly saw one day that is now an unconscious standard practice in your life. I'll go first. Show me the life hack that you randomly saw one day that is now an unconscious standard practice in your life. I'll go first. What I'm about to tell you is one of the hardest things to accept, but it will help you in your life so much. No one can hurt your feelings. No one can make you sad, make you angry. People just aren't that powerful. When we say that people make us feel a certain way, we give away all of our power and sovereignty and we put it in the hands of them. Doing that puts us in a very victim mindset where we feel like things are happening to us and like we don't have control. Oddly enough, the more things are our fault, aka the more accountability we take, the more control we can have over our lives. I can't express this enough, the more accountability you have in your life, the more peace and sovereignty you will find. How do you continue to be fearless every day and be your true self? You be fearless every day and when you don't feel like it, just pretend, girl. That's it. <laughs> really and truly, don't let them see you sweat. You have to work really hard. A lot of sleepless nights. Um, do not quit. But also, try to take breaks. And I gotta give myself that advice. You gotta, you gotta take breaks just to check in with yourself. 
when someone closes a door in your face, all you have to remember is when God allows them to close the door in your face, all God wants you to do is walk up the hall. It's some more doors. You just got to walk up the hall. Because I can promise you, he got a better door that he wants you to go through than the one that got shut in your face. That's a fact. Like, I think I'm beautiful. I think I'm funny. I think I, I don't have to look to other people yeah. to know those things about myself. Stop focusing on what other people think so much. Amen. You know, I feel like the moment I realized that I was searching for approval is mm -hmm. when I realized that I was so unhappy with that. Like, yeah. it was my opinion that I needed of myself to keep me happy. In life, whenever you do something, remember this lesson, because I always like to give a life lesson. Whenever you do something, for money or for guilt, those two things, money or guilt. When you go against your gut and you do it for money or guilt, it will come back and bite you in the ass. It never works out, never. Your great life is in front of you. It's not behind you. What you did back there ain't got nothing to do with what God got for you. What you did back there was learn the lessons to get you to where you are at this particular moment right here. But what God got for you, do you know, man, that you can actually mess your life completely up? You can jack it all the way up and you can turn around and get it right. Do not be afraid to fail because that oftentimes is the thing that keeps us back because we think we have to be right. We think we have to be perfect. We think that we can't stumble. Um, and the only way you succeed in life, the only way you learn, is by failing. It's not the failure, it's what you do after you fail, you know? Do you let it eat you up? Do you quit? Do you give up? Or do you let it bolster you? Does it serve as, as the challenge in your mind to do more, to take some risks, to step outside of your comfort zone? Hey, one of the most important things decisions you could ever make in your life is who you marry some people always say but i love him or i love her and that's admirable that you love her but do you like her do you like her see that's the difference you can love somebody that you don't like and that's a problem you know they say opposites attract Yes, they do, but there's a second half to that. Opposites do attract, but they don't stay together too long. A wise guy once said to me, find someone that puts wind in your sails. I think that's important. Sometimes. These first aid tips must be used at critical moments. 1. The colds of my friends around me are worrying. With a thought, I took a piece of paper towel and folded it like this. Do this again. Place the position with rubber bands. Order such a temporary mask easily. Practical and simple. 2. Good girlfriends are uncomfortable and uncomfortable. Just put the sliced ginger into the pot. Add cola and cook. Then pour it into the cup. Give it to your girlfriend and drink it faster. 6. Sore throat. Add water and ginger slices to a pot and boil for 20 minutes. Add lemon juice to the soup. Honey gel. Stir well. Pour into the mold to cool and set. Daily eating can effectively relieve sore throat. Follow me to learn more life tips. Home cleaning tips you must know. 1. What to do if the tool is slightly rusty. Rub it with lemon to solve it. 2. The pot burns and is not easy to clean up. It is more convenient to soak it overnight with Sprite. 3. The shower head is blocked and the water flow is small. Take a plastic bag and pour white vinegar. Squeeze it onto the nozzle and soak for a day. The water flow returned to normal immediately. 
4. The cleaning machine is used up. You can use cola as a snack instead. It also has a good cleaning effect. Did you learn it?